Native Americans, throughout history, have been a rich and diverse people with many tribes and cultures. In Native American culture, peace and hospitality were fundamental values in their social life. Many Native American tribes place great importance on living peacefully and fostering harmonious relationships with the communities around them. Their connection with the land and nature encouraged a philosophy of peaceful living. Hospitality was also a key aspect of Native American communities. Showing respect to guests, offering them food and shelter, was considered an essential part of their culture. When a guest arrived, the generosity and respect shown to them were a reflection of the tribe's values and cultural honor. Food offered to guests was often presented in conjunction with traditional ceremonies, emphasizing the importance of sharing. Furthermore, Peace treaties and diplomacy were frequently employed among Native American peoples. The peace pipe, Calumet, was a symbol of peace for Native Americans and was used as part of peace agreements. While intertribal conflicts did occur, negotiations and peaceful agreements were often the preferred methods of resolution. Native Americans' deep respect for nature and their philosophy of sustainable living also supported their peaceful approaches. Living in harmony with nature not only meant coexisting with other people peacefully, but also living in balance with the environment. Native Americans displayed their hospitality with great generosity, and welcoming guests was considered a sacred duty. Hosting a guest was not just an act of kindness, but also a matter of social honor. No matter which tribe visitors went to, they were met with a warm reception, which was a common characteristic across many Native American communities. Here are some of their guest welcoming traditions. Food and offering Native Americans would immediately offer food to their guests. Traditional dishes often included cornbread, game meat, and various plant-based meals. The food presented to the guest was a reflection of the host's generosity. Sharing a meal was a way to strengthen the bond and show respect. By accepting the food, the guests showed their respect to the community. Shelter and lodging guests were invited into the tribe's living spaces and provided with accommodations. Traditional Native American shelters, such as teepees, wigwams, or Pueblo homes, were arranged to ensure that the guest was comfortable. The host family would do everything they could to make the guest feel at ease, offering special care and attention. Ceremonies and rituals in some tribes, special welcoming ceremonies were held for important guests. These ceremonies often included dances, songs, and prayers. With a spiritual element, these rituals were a way to honor the guest and establish peaceful relations. Smoking the peace pipe, calumet, to celebrate the guest's arrival was also a common ritual. Gift giving another sign of hospitality was giving gifts. Guests were often presented with handmade items, feathers, or clothing as tokens of respect. Gift giving symbolized the honor and respect felt toward the guest. Accepting the gift was a sign of mutual respect and friendship. Listening to the guest stories and information guests brought news, stories, and information from the places they came from, which was highly valued by Native Americans. Learning about the outside world was important within the community. The guest stories were listened to attentively and with respect. Symbol of peace and trust, it was important to make the guest feel safe. They were assured that no harm would come to them within the tribe, and they were treated with respect. Guests were not seen as a threat to the tribe, but rather as friends and potential allies. This tradition of hospitality reflected the deep respect Native Americans have for nature and one another. Cooperation and solidarity were fundamental values in their social life. Despite their hospitality, Native American communities remained cautious and vigilant toward individuals who appeared suspicious or threatening. Peace and trust were of utmost importance to them. So if there were doubts about a stranger's intentions, they would first observe and then act accordingly. However, this process usually aimed to avoid violence and resolve the situation peacefully. Here are some approaches they took when dealing with suspicious individuals. Observation and scrutiny suspicious individuals were typically not attacked outright, but they were closely monitored and observed. Tribe members would keep a watchful eye on the stranger's actions, behavior, and intentions. During this time, no harm would come to the stranger, but the tribe would try to determine if the person posed a potential threat. Peace Pipe, Calumet, 
or dialogue if there were doubts about a person or group's intentions. A diplomatic solution, such as smoking the peace pipe or engaging in direct talks, was sought. Among Native Americans, smoking the peace pipe symbolized friendship and peace. If the stranger accepted the peace pipe, they were seen as having peaceful intentions. During discussions, the guest's intentions and purpose would be inquired about, and they were expected to provide reassuring explanations. Testing behavior some tribes would test suspicious individuals to build trust. For example, they would observe whether the guest was willing to share food, smoke the peace pipe, or participate in tribal rituals. Such behaviors could help confirm the guest's friendly intentions. If the suspicious person refused to take part in these rituals or behaved disrespectfully, it was believed their intentions were hostile. Security measures security precautions were taken, such as closely monitoring suspicious individuals and restricting their freedom within the tribe. As long as the guest did not pose an explicit threat, no harm would come to them. But if suspicions persisted, the tribe would remain on alert. Tribal leaders and warriors were prepared to act swiftly in the face of any potential danger. Decision by tribal leaders in Native American communities. Tribal leaders were deeply concerned with the safety of the group. If there were serious doubts about a person, the final decision was left to the tribe's leaders and chiefs. The leaders would question the individual and assess the seriousness of the situation. Decisions were usually made with the well-being of the community in mind. Prioritizing peaceful diplomacy, Native American communities generally sought to avoid conflict and prioritize diplomacy. Talking to suspicious individuals to reach an agreement, understanding their intentions, and resolving the issue through peaceful means was their first choice. However, if this approach failed and the threat became clear, the tribe would adopt a defensive posture. Defense and warfare, if a stranger or group displayed openly hostile behavior or posed a clear danger to the tribe, they would shift into a defensive mode. Native American warriors were prepared to protect their tribe and families. However, unless the suspicious individual truly posed a threat, violence was usually avoided. War was considered a last resort. In conclusion, Native Americans were always cautious and vigilant towards suspicious individuals, but they prioritized peaceful and diplomatic solutions. This approach was consistent with their hospitable and respectful culture. Resolving issues peacefully before resorting to violence was a common value among the tribes.